Hello, sir. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, of course you can. Welcome on Stockport County TV. Now, lead to bottom of the table. How are you feeling about facing the mighty Bood and County? Well, firstly, yeah, we're not doing right well at league. But uh, as I always say, you know, form is temporary, class is permanent. So we're going to be back. We're going to be back stronger and better than ever, especially against these these no uppers Stockport. I mean, who, who are they? Like uh, one of these football manager Fairyland teams, aren't they? Really, you know, um, you know, just come out of nowhere with some weirdo called Bood who's got who's into old women. He's got some sort of fetish or something. So I don't know, but they're a lot of shy at Stockport. Just another. And want to be Manx side who you know they're, they're trying to be a poor man's Manx uh, team, which they're even worse than us, aren't we? Because you know we're all leaves, aren't we? And you know, you know, some of you, I can't be asked for you. Marching on together. Hello and welcome to episode 34 of SOS Stockport County. As always, thanks for coming back. Uh, got a good episode today, got a lot of highlights to get through, so I'm going to split them into two groups. Um, but I've got loads of little bits of news to tell you about. Um, we've got a good live com hopefully against Leeds United later on. Um, but first, I just want to show you this. I've signed Wayne Rooney. Now, <laughs> I know he's, he's pretty poor. He's definitely deteriorated. Can he do it in the championship? I don't know. He hasn't he hasn't played a league match for two years. Um, and he isn't the player we used to be. I mean, but as a United fan, it's still Wayne Rooney. Um, and hopefully bringing him in, he might rub off on me kids. Um, having someone like that who's won everything um, at the club. It's just, um, I don't know. It's just a one season thing and we'll see how he goes. Um, and I've also let someone go. Augusto. Um, Use me regen, I think from last year. It's just one of them. I get, I get a decent regen. People put bids in, and then you turn it down, and they just get upset and start moaning at you. And I can't, I can't be dealing with it. Well, I turned it down. I think it was from an English team. I think it might have been Swansea or someone like that. So I turned that one down, and he was angry. And then is it Capri from Serie A? They came in for him, offered me six hundred thousand pound. I thought. I mean, he's all right. He's not that good. I mean, his best um, attribute is his bloody aggression. So, do you know what? 600 grand, I thought, see you later. Right, another bit of news. Season tickets. We've had season ticket sales this year, and they've gone up 2,000, which is, is brilliant. Um, I think we sold about 4,500 season tickets last year. This year, we've sold about 6,500, so it just shows you we're growing. The, uh, the fans are coming back, because the fans are out there. They've just uh, obviously been disillusioned in real life with all the relegations, but definitely uh, we're definitely on the up. Uh, right, so let's jump into the first five games of highlights. Well, uh, I'll show you some goals, and then we'll have a quick chat about the games and uh, get cracking. Can Mitchell get onto that? He has done first time cross. Norris is there. First shot's blocked. Second shot goes in. Good goal. One nil. Goes in there now, finds Norris, Norris takes a touch, blasts it and it goes in! What an absolute screamer! Left foot, top left corner, wonder goal from Norris, 2-0. Roberts charging forward, took a bit of a long touch there but he's kept hold of it and scores it. That was poor from us. Roberts scores, 2-1, stops to take the corner, floats out to the edge of the box, the famous corner tactic. He's found Dave as a party, Dave has a party, shoots! Oh my god, a thunderbolt from absolutely miles away, 3-1. I'm on the left, down side, he's cut inside, passes to Freddy, Freddy, first time pass out to Nilsie, Nilsie crosses in, Stobbs is there, Nils to Stobbs, same old, same old, and it's 4-1. Now he's takes a free kick, but in the danger zone, it's scrappy, but Big Dave's there, and he scores it, it's 1-0. Norris in the ball now, back to goal, he turns around, he's looking, a short pass to Dave, Dave, love the little pass back to Norris, Norris finds Stobbsy, what Stobbsy going to do is laid up to Dave, they're looking for offside, but it's not, he scores the goal, brilliant, 2-0, Norris charging through, takes a shot, keeper saves it, it's a defender, falls back to Norris, he can't miss that, it's 3-0, the guy's on fire, 
Balls come to Pritchard. Pritchard, first time goal. First time shot, sorry. It wasn't bad, was it? 3 1. Ready to take the penalty. Slots in the bottom right hand corner. Easy peasy. 4 1. Dush kind now. Crosses it in with his right four. Can stop to get to it. He does. Mitchell gets to it. It's into the side netting. Rono charging down the left hand side, crosses it in, finds Stobbs it, Stobbs it, oh, gets saved, but he gets a rebound. It's just a trademark goal, they're going to start calling it the Stobster. Deeper now on the right hand side, can he get the ball in, come on lad, he does, he crosses it nice and low. Mitchell runs onto it, easy, tapping, 2-0. Stobbs it now on the right hand side, whips the ball in, Mitchell again, runs onto another cross. Same goal as before, makes it 3-0. Pons charging through, gets, what a tackle, what a tackle from Naismith. They get the cross back in, falls to Williams and he can't miss it, it's 1-0. Williams charging forward, he's going to find the pass outside of his foot and he does. Banzonoli, I think his name is, Banzonoli, gets the rebound, makes it 2-0. Nils in on the left hand side, he can whip the ball and he has done it, it's nice and high, can anyone get onto it? Stobbs he does, heads it down to Hamill, Hamill with a nice tap in. 2-1. Okay, the first game was against Grimsby in the League Cup. We played away. I played a good team and just wanted to get my players going, you know, get the form going, get their confidence going. And yeah, we destroyed them. I mean, we destroyed them in chances, destroyed them in possession. Um, Luke Norris was outstanding, got player of the match, scored two goals. Jack Stobbs was brilliant as well. He scored and set one up. Both ended on ended up on nines. Um, had some brilliant performances all, all round, really. The next game was Peter Burway, uh, and again, we dominated it as in it was 4-1, but statistically, they had more chances and they had more of the ball. Uh, I just think we finished our chances. Um, Dave did really well, scored two goals before he got injured. Um, Norris played well. <clears throat> um, Ingram played really well, which tells you a lot. When, when your goalkeeper gets an 8.3, you know that you know he's, he's saved the day a few times. But, you know, 4-1, great result. Next game was a really, really even game and also a really, really boring game against Derby. Um, nil nilla. Yeah, just the average. No one really stood out for me. Uh, the best player was Stobbs, though, or Deba, sorry. But yeah, it's just one of them games that you just, yeah, quite easily forget about. We then went away to Millwall, the den. Uh, you know, everyone knows about that place. But yeah, we turned up. Stobbs he scored, Mitchell bagged two goals, he was brilliant, finished the game on a 9.2 and one man of the match. Uh, Harry Lennon was outstanding, Deeper again was outstanding, um, Stobbs set one up, scored one again, Yep, oh, Stobbs he's been brilliant, um, outstanding this year. The last game we were at home against Burnley and I took a risk, a B team did mainly because it's a League Cup and mainly because last year we did so well going out of them cups early and being able to concentrate in the league, I just thought, do you know what, I'll take a chance. Maybe if we'd have played an A, an a team we might have beat them, you know. Right, seeing as I've never changed my tactics since the start, and it's just really working. It's just working well, isn't it? I mean, I don't do anything with it, really. And it's pretty simple. There's only about eight instructions. And it's just working. I mean, don't get me wrong, we have our moments when we get leathered. But we win enough games to win things. So I just thought I'd go into it all in a bit more detail, show you a bit more about it. Um, and if you want to try it yourself, you can always have a go. And I'd love to know how it works for you, if it works for you at any level, really. But yeah, so really tempo, we've got a normal tempo, about three bars up. Um, we rarely waste time. The, we, we play quite wide. It says balance there. It's not it's not as wide as you can go. Um, the defensive line is normal. We use the offside trap. Uh, we close down sometimes. We play a direct style of play. I, got, I get them to stick in their positions still. I originally did that because I didn't want them messing about because they're not that intelligent, but... It seems to work. Let each guy just do your job. This transitioning stuff and swapping about. No, I'm not into that. Let's just stick there. You're right back. Be a right back. And it, and it's working. We exploit the wings. We clear the ball to the wings. We hit him hit early crosses as soon as we can. And we whip him in. And if you've seen it for yourself, the amount of goals I score from crosses and, and getting down the wings and crossing them in by, with my wingers. And I've got two forwards who'll run onto it. Or a lot of the times... A winger or a full back will cross it in, and another winger or a full back on the other side are running on onto it. So it's working for me. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm also going to show you my individual um, instructions because obviously when you have a, a certain role for a player, um, they have set instructions that you can't change. But you can also add 
extra instructions. So, I mean, the formations always stay the same. I have changed roles in the past on other saves as well, where I've had a roaming playmaker in the middle, but on this save I've got a central midfielder. Also on this save I've had target men, deep line forwards, shadow strikers, poachers. Um, at the minute we're still playing with a poacher, but not a target man. I'm playing with a poacher and a deep line forward at the minute. Um, my left winger is always on support. The right winger, I have him attacking. And yeah, I mean, I'll be flashing each position up in the background as I'm chatting. Um, and just again, if you want to have a go and you want to copy it, feel free to copy it. I'm not bothered. Hopefully, if it works for you, then happy days. But it is working. It's working. So I can't, I can't complain, really. And why change it? I'm not going to. Um, one thing, a little tip. I don't know how many of you do this, but I've done this for a long, long time. I read it in the old books, way before the internet was what it is today. I think you can still get this book. I think you can, but I don't anymore. Every time I bought the game, I used to buy like a book. I mean, my mates would call it the Champ Manager Bible. Um, it just gives you lots of tips and advice on that, that year's game. And one thing it used to say is, always make put your striker on easy tackling, easy enough tackles or tackling easy, whatever the option is on that particular game. It's just something I've always done because strikers can't tackle, can they? And you don't want them lunging in. If you've just got your team on hard tackling, you don't want that striker lunging in because he can't tackle and he might get sent off. He might get booked. Or he might give away a stupid free kick. So one thing I'd always say is put your strikers on easy tackling. And uh, yeah, that's my tip of the day. Ronald's bombing it forward. This guy has got a bit of class and what a finish. 1-0, Rano again, lovely pass, finds Freddy, Freddy, beautiful finish from Freddy, 2-0. Anya, on the right hand side, got two men on him, but he's whipped it in somehow, found Bamford, really good finish to be fair, and it's 1-0. Husband crosses it in, straight to Bamford, had three men on him, beat the lot of them, scores his second, 2-0. That guy with a mad name, crosses it in, straight to Bamford, again, this guy's on fire. 3-0, hat-trick after 23 minutes. Mitchell passes it back, finds Diver. Diver crosses it in. Can Ronald get onto it? Consolation goal, eh? But who cares? The kid scores and it's 3-1. Stobbs, classic county corner to Ronald. It's it, lad. It's it. He does! Scores again. They were starting to back down again. Come on. Back in it. 3-2. Half an hour ago. Bash to a Yui Yui. To finds Bamford. Bamford shoots. Scores. In off the post. Four goals from him. He's 4 2. Will someone break his bastard legs? Hamill has gone to it. Passes it short. Ronald falls over. Goes back to Hamill. Hamill crosses it. Norris rises up. Heads it in. 20 minutes to go. We're back in this. Come on. It's 4 3. No one on the edge of the box. No, that is his name. He's found long, long scores. 1 0 after three minutes. Dicko now. Oh, he missed the tackle. He scores in. In off the post. Brilliant goal. 2 0. Go on, stops it, bombing it down the right hand side. Gets the ball and he does. Oh, they've got it away, but only as far as Rono, who blasts it in the back of the net, and we're back in it. 2 1. No one's got it again on the right hand side. First time cross to Dicko. You dick. 3 1. Oh, Dave's got it. He's managed to cross it in. He's found Stobbs. Stobbs just loves scoring goals from that position. He's a, cl he's a class player. 1 0. He's found Beasley. Beasley pings it out to Millsy's on the left. Millsy crosses it in. Finds Rono. Becoming a bit of a legend, kid. 2 0. Kamara now. Cross the ball in. <laughs> he crosses it in and it goes in. Fair play to the lad. Jesus. It's 2 1. Stobbs it, crosses it in nice and low, Ronald's there, Ronald scores, Ronald flies away like Superman, legend. Stobbs has got it in the edge of the box, takes a touch, has a shot, oh he scores again. He's got the worth about 17 million freaking quid this kid. 1-0, Dave charging forward, takes a touch, have a shot, he does, big Dave scores, 2-0. Mitch on the left. For a lad who can't cross, he's crossed it lovely. Ronald brought it down his chest like a world-class player. Bangs it in the net. It's 3-0. Mitchell's charged all the way down the pitch. Takes a touch too, not touch too much. No, he's crossed it in. Nothing's come of it. Now he's got the ball. Passes inside to Diva. Diva crosses it in straight to Mitchell. And Mitchell scores. He deserves that goal. He's played brilliantly. And it's 4-0. Stobbs it on the right. Crosses it in. Finds holes in there. Five goals. 5-0. Five D-Jam, if you ever watched this, your boys have been atrocious and we have been amazing. 
Come on. Right, the first game was against QPR at home, and QPR were our affiliate for years, weren't they? All the players I've got from them, the players I've loaned, I've even got a player on loan from them at the minute. Um, I really thought they were going to do us, because it's QPR. Do you know when you just think they're a big club, we're a small club? But they didn't. 23 chances we had. They had six. We had way more of the ball, and we were fantastic. Jack Stobbs, man of the match, again, he was on a nine. Rono on a nine. It was brilliant. This game was fantastic, the Blackburn game away. I think we were 3 0 down after 23 minutes. And I'm thinking, wow, we're going to get, we are getting bummed here. We are getting well and truly bent over and arsed, blasted. But do you know what? We came back into it. I think we pulled two goals back. Then they scored. Then we scored. We dominated them in chances. We dominated the possession. It was just one of them games that someone was going to lose. And unfortunately, it was us. Patrick Bamford with his four goals wasn't having it. Uh, and rightly so, he got man of the match. But yeah, what a great game to watch. Then again, uh, form took a nosedive. And I started to think, you know, we started really well. And I was thinking maybe this is time, you know, we're starting to settle into this league now. We're starting to play some bigger teams. And we're going to start getting beat. And we got beat uh, 3-1 at home. Um, even game, really. They edged it with chances and possession but it was even um, none of my guys turned up I think Rono my goal scorer was the best player in the park on a 7.3 but we bounced back from two defeats with a cracking away victory against Reading uh, yeah I think we dominated it uh, there are nine chances we had 16 but we didn't show you many of theirs some of my guys just turned up Clark Kent Superman Rono he turned up and scored me two goals Dave got an assist Jack Stobbs again and yeah, everyone really, everyone's turned up, got some great average ratings there. Now DJ MFM won't be happy with this result, but this is the result of the season. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to top this performance. It was just one of them like, is this really happening? Bang, 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 bang. Goal after goal after goal after goal. Everybody on an over an eight. Everybody. Ingram on a 7.2 and I don't think he had to do a single thing. We doubled them in shots. We had 21. They edged it in the possession, but you didn't do anything with it. We were just outstanding. Check that out. Check it out. <laughs> hey, second in the league. I'm as shocked as you are. Honestly, I'm shocked. Because a lot of the players we signed this year, we re-signed from loans last year, and then we've signed a couple of good kids. But yeah, wow. We just started really well. Now, will we stay there? I don't know. I mean, look at some of them teams that are below us. I mean, we're second. I mean, we're joint second, don't get me wrong. We're Brighton, Birmingham and Reading. And we're five points behind Stoke. But wow, can I start to dream already? Can I? After nine games in a league? I don't know. But uh, today's live comp should be interesting because if you look all the way down there at the bottom, we've got Leeds at the bottom in the league. They haven't even won a game yet. So... I think the bookies have got us favourites. Let's jump over and have a look at Leeds now and uh, see why they're doing so badly. Here we are with Leeds United. And one of the reasons I think they haven't won a game is they've still got Steve Evans as manager. How is he still in the manager's job there? I don't even know how he got it in the first place. But yeah, um, they've not started very well, have they? I mean, you look at the results and I think they've, what, they've drawn two games. Lost the rest. I mean, they just got beat off Birmingham, who were a newly promoted side. 5-2 <laughs> I mean wow I mean we're at Allen Road today um, we are at Allen Road but I still think we're going to do something I mean let's have a look the captains Liam Cooper he's alright the vice captains Charlie Adam who was you know, had a great stint didn't he at um, Blackpool got his signing he got transferred to Liverpool didn't he didn't really work out for him ended up at Stoke and did okay um, their best player is Marco Silvestri but yeah, I mean, Buckies have got us as favourites and the form we're in after just pounding D-Jam FM's um, Norwich 5-0. And seeing that they've just been beat 5-2 off Birmingham who've just come up through the playoffs. I'd be disappointed if we don't get anything here today. Here we are with today's team. And it's a team that's starting to shape up and, and look really good. Um, we've got Ingram in net. We've got Cole and McShane in the centre of defence. Uh, we've got Debert right back. Dushkai left back. Adam May. In the ball winning midfielder role, Freddie in the centre of the park. He's been he's been doing really well as well at the start of this season. Um, Stobbsy 
who is an absolute legend at the minute. He's on the right wing. Mitchell on the left wing, who's been playing fantastic. He's, he's, he's rapid, honestly. He, I swear, he is so fast. And then up front, we've got a nice little partnership forming between Dave Azapardi and Kent Rono. Um, they both suit their roles perfectly. Dave's a perfect deep line forward. Rono's a perfect poacher. And yeah, um, I'm happy. I mean, they've got, what, 11 goals between them already. I'm expecting a win today now. I'm definitely expecting a win. I'm interrupting this broadcast mainly to tell you that I am a numpty. If you watch my whole series, you'll realise that a while back I stopped using OBS to record everything in one go. And I split everything up now and then add it together at the end. Uh, but that also means you have to press record on multiple things. And I forgot to press record on my game. So, <laughs> even though I'm chatting away watching the game myself, it, it didn't actually record the match. It just recorded my audio and my video. So, I've had to go back into it open the highlights up and re-record it which also makes these bits in between like I've done this before so I'll just I'll fill that I'll fill them gaps with chances I didn't see so you'll get to see more of the game so yeah I just wanted to be honest and let you know why it looks a bit different than normal um, but yeah it's just one of them things in it Leeds United versus Stockport County kick off here today at the famous Ellen Road yeah I can't wait to get going is Mitchell now on the left hand side chooses to pass and he's found Kent Rono Kent Rono took a touch gets brought down in the box this is going to be a corner ball could have been a penalty that you have to be careful doing that tackling from behind in the box he stops it now floats it in some early pressure from County come on boys throwing now Diber on the right hand side short throw into Freddie Freddie passes it to no one and leads to get it away come on lads come on Azimi, I think his name is, he's on the ball now, number nine. Sprays it out to the left, finds Boyd. Boyd's got two men on him, threads it through. Oh, Leeds had a chance there. Ingram got saved, well, managed to save it, but McManaman's still on it. Come on, Mowat now's on the ball. Leeds are putting the pressure on. Oh, shot straight the goal, Ingram gathers it, easy. Yeah, a couple of minutes gone and it's been mainly Leeds. Come on, lads. Cole pings it out now to Mitchell. Come on, Mitchell. Take it on. Oh, go on. Now run. Run, lad. They ain't catching you. There he is on the left-hand side. Can he get a decent cross in? Have a look up. He's having a look. He puts it in low. He finds Stubbsy. Stubbsy scores. He does what he does best. And it's 1-0. You know, Mitchell, no one's going to catch him there. Is that you saying Bolt. Watch him now. Nice. Puts it. Perfect cross, really. Stubbsy. No one's on him. Stubbsy kind of need it in the net from the look of it. In off the goalie as well. 1-0. Cooper now a free kick. Decides to pass it short to Adam. Adam, who's normally a good pass for the ball, just gives it straight to us. And oh, we're on it now. Here's Kent. Kent's giving it to Dushkai on the left-hand side. Dushkai's a right big left back, isn't he? Don't know what's going on there. I can walk through two people. He's just taking his time. Do any leads play what I get a foot in? Nope. But we're giving the ball anyway, and Beavers retrieves it, passes it back to the keeper, who absolutely blasts it forward. Good header, Cole. Good header. Made with a nice tackle. But Boyd's got the ball, he's found a Zimi. What's that? Oh, what's he called? Sloth. It's 25 minutes gone. Uh, they've, they've had one extra shot than we have, but we have absolutely dominated the possession. We've scored the goal. I'd say we're in control at the minute. And hopefully it can stay this way. I mean, a victory at Ellen Road. Fantastic. Keep this run going. Or keep our form going. I know we've lost a couple of games, but we're still playing all right. You know what I mean? That just seems like... Seems like it was a bit of a blip, maybe. I don't know. But you don't want to say too much too soon because you never know in football. And here we are now with Sloth. He's pinged it out to Cooper. Nice pass to Boyd. Boyd shoots. Ingram saves it and basically just goes, there you go, McManaman. Pam, pans it to McManaman. Have an open goal, McManaman. And it's 1 1. Yeah. Cooper lays it up to Boyd. Boyd shoots. Ingram there. Never normally does that. That was a poor parry, that back to McManaman. He, he couldn't miss, could he? 1-1. One, one. Gianluigi Buffon's available on a free at the minute. He's 41. He's still all right. I am contemplating going for him, you know. Stubbsy. He's found uh, Rono on the edge of the box. Go on, Rono. Rono's passed in. Oh, Dave's offside anyway. But his stats are still pretty good. Um, I don't know. Do I get him for the one last year? Or do I get him just to work with Ingram? Here we are. First half's over. And it's 1 1. Uh, when I scored that goal really early, I thought, here we go. 
here we go, it's going to be 6 0. And yeah, nah, it's not really turned out that way. So, let's have a chat. I'm going to be angry and say I'm not happy because I think we should be beating them. Um, and hopefully, it'll give them a kick up the arse. Second half kicks off. Leeds kick it off here at Ellen Road. Famous old stadium. Come on, let's beat them. Deba now on the right hand side with a throw in. He's found Freddy. Freddy passes it back to him. He passes it into Stobbs. Stobbs now on the right hand side. Get a ball in the box. He has done. He found Rano. Rano! He rolls up like Superman. Oh. I'm going to have to nickname this kid Superman. Stobbs here. Took a touch. Turned around. Floated it straight onto Rono's head. Rono heads in from that distance. That is some power in the neck. That is a cracking header. 2 1. We're edging this game, you know. We're edging it, but games like this, you never know, dude. You never know anything could happen. But we're winning at the minute. I think I'll have a look into making a few changes. Um, let's see what happens here. Sloth crosses it in. Can we get it away? May gets to it. Oh, and he's found Dave. Go on, Dave. Dave, lovely pass from Azapardi. He's found Superman. Go on, Rono. Oh, he gets bullied off the ball by Wooten. Yeah, we need to sort that out easily. Stobbs in now. Finds Deba on the right hand side. Deba, can he get a ball in the box? Decides to pass it low to Dave. Dave's trying to find Mitchell. Leads again, defend well. And try and clear the ball. But Freddy there, brilliant, Freddy. Throw uh, it down brilliantly then, balls is it up. Here's Cole, there's Cole. Bit of a dodgy tackle, he's got a he's been booked. Okay, well, uh, just before I was going to make any changes, Cole's decided to get sent off, which is just balls that we up. So, Ronald's going on his own up top. I've turned him into an advance forward. I dropped Stobbsy back into a support role, and just in case, because I've got a few yellows, uh, and Freddy, because he was pretty average, I've brought him off, and I've brought Jack Powell on in the centre of the park. I'm going to stay attacking for now, but I'm just going to see how the game feels, and how it flows, and I'll make a, a judgement later on. Yeah, we've got to play 25 minutes really with 10 men. I'm still going to go attacking because I think we've got enough still to attack him. And hopefully, like I always say, if we're attacking, it gives them less chance to score. Deba now on the ball, he's found May. Come on, May, don't be silly. I've told them to concentrate, so I'm all, hopefully they've all listened to me and they're not going to do anything foolish. Here's Powell now on the ball. He's just wasting a bit of time here, isn't he? We've got, we've got seconds left. Two minutes of injury time, and we just hit two minutes. Come on, referee. And there you go, full time. We've somehow managed to win that game because it was quite close. And it's finished 2-1. And there you go, 2-1. Buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. Grinded out of victory. Fantastic. Disappointing Cole. Um, I might be giving him a fine. I always find him if they get a red card, especially for tackles like that. But yeah, we still won the game, so I'm happy. And yeah, I'm going to be passionate. I always am when I win. And... To say well done lads that was a good win okay episode 35 i'm gonna play the next 10 games off camera again get through a good chunk of the season and mainly because i want to come back and play Huddersfield at the john smith stadium don't know how many of you know but Huddersfield town's going to be my save and my series for fm17 mainly because my wife's from Huddersfield. she did say to me she's been quite supportive if i ever did another series could i do Huddersfield? so i said yeah i do like Huddersfield because i've kind of followed them for the last 10 years and be married to someone from there. So I do go to Huddersfield quite often. So I know I'll be passionate about it. Well, there we go. End of episode 34. Absolutely buzzing. Uh, we just about made it through to Leeds. We've in the Leeds game, 2-1. But you know what? We won. Disappointed with Cole, I won't lie. But, you know, who cares? We got the victory. And we're lying in second place. We're second. God, if we could stay there, it'd be amazing. It'd be, it'd be insane. It would be insane. Um, Farm's been alright, hasn't it? We've done we've had some good victories. Um, also got spanked really heavily twice. So, I mean, that's in our locker. We, we've obviously got the capability capability to get beat. But we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm just enjoying it. And I'm going to enjoy playing the next 10 games and, and seeing how we do. So, as always, thank you for watching. It really does mean a lot uh, to all of you. you. You're absolute legends. Anyone who gets to the end, like I always say, I love you. I want to man hug you. A woman hug you, if there's actually a woman subscriber out there. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you back for episode 35, where we're going to play my future save, Huddersfield Town. Have a nice day, take care, and I'll see you later.